to power wash this thing even though it's 40 degrees just because it's all moldy and gross looking that and it'll give me a chance to get a better look at other, all the other little spots that I need to fix on it. Hopefully it cleans up some. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and power wash it even though it's like 47 degrees. And uh, today we're going to try it without the external mic see if that works any better being we're outside but it's not windy so maybe i should try it i don't know we'll do a little bit without it and a little without with it we're gonna go ahead and power wash this trailer even though it's 47 degrees uh hopefully the, when they wind today it'll be a little better with this external mic all right here we go probably all time lapse anyway
YouTubers probably think I'm a little crazy because I'm out here talking to my phone. But uh, here's what the trailer looks like after it's all cleaned up. Um, these videos are really just for me to practice editing and see what works and what doesn't work. So they suck, but hopefully they'll get better and I'll start doing some better stuff in the videos. But for now, practicing on this kind of stuff and talking to the camera, uh, is some big things I need to work on. So we're going to work on them. But anyway, here's a walk around of it all cleaned up and we'll walk around the dually too, since we power wash that in the video also, but here we go. cleaned up pretty good needs to be wire wheeled and the whole trailer needs to be painted it's got some nasty spots on it some stuff needs to be re-welded straightened out yes that's a chevy eight lug wheel turned around backwards painted the adjustable hitch and added a uh, reflector to it hopefully so I don't back into it while it's sitting here in the driveway this is all black trailer you don't really see it good in the dark there's a new wheel and spare new tire all the all the algae and stuff cleaned off of it pretty good Place some of this tread plate so that's all bent up and I don't know what the what they were thinking with that plate there and what they used to have welded on onto the frame it sticks up and these I'll probably have to cut those off too because putting bag to body drop stuff on this trailer there's a good chance those will stab into the bottom of a vehicle so we gotta redo that. And I think I have to redo the area where it holds the ramps. And probably replace these ramps because they're pretty trashy. But it is what it is. Hopefully I'll put the wheels on it tomorrow. And uh, maybe test load it and see how the truck likes it. Speaking of the truck, you cleaned up okay. I haven't, I haven't washed it in probably six months. I need to get the exhaust ran out to the out the back, dumping underneath the the bed like it does has destroyed the side of the bed but it needs body work and paint and everything else anyway so it is what it is the sun's probably gonna be too bright over here okay well hopefully it's not too windy out today uh, but I have a feeling it is um, so today I'm going to switch the wheels on the, the side of the trailer and I'm going to use the high lift to do that. So let's get started.
All right, well that's done now. Uh, next we're going to uh, clean up those scraps of metal that are still welded to the frame. That way they don't stab into the bottom of the vehicle. Move the camera so we can see. I'm not really sure why or what reason they had stuff welded on there for, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean it up, get rid of it. Yeah. 